Anticoagulation therapy after mitral valve repair or bioprosthetic replacement is important to prevent the formation of thrombi and subsequent possibly devastating embolism. However, it may also increase the risk of bleeding and significantly complicates patient management. Although it is recommended by multiple clinical practice guidelines, the data underpinning these recommendations are weak. In this study, the authors utilized the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Adult Cardiac Surgery Database to evaluate current nationwide anticoagulation practice patterns after bioprosthetic mitral valve replacement and mitral valve repair. They linked these data with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Administrative Claims data, which allowed them to rigorously analyze the associations of discharge, anticoagulation status, and long-term outcomes, namely mortality, ischemic stroke, bleeding, and a composite of these three endpoints. In total, 26,199 patients over the age of 65 who underwent isolated primary mitral valve replacement or repair in the period from July 2011 to December 2018 in 1,068 institutions were analyzed. Only 48% of the patients were discharged on any type of anticoagulation, including 44% treated with warfarin and 4% treated with non-vitamin K-dependent anticoagulant, or NOAC. Compared with no anticoagulation, warfarin was associated with a statistically significant 13% reduction in mortality only in the patients with bioprosthetic mitral valve replacement. However, the use of warfarin was associated with an increased risk of bleeding in the overall mitral valve surgery cohort and in both the mitral valve replacement and repair subcohorts. NOAC was associated with significantly increased mortality, bleeding, and the composite outcome. Neither warfarin nor NOAC were protective against stroke. In conclusion, this large study suggests that anticoagulation with warfarin should be considered in older patients with mitral valve replacement, while NOAC should be used with caution.